Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Diamond Dog Training. I'm Joyce Diamond. What questions should you ask a dog breeder before you buy a puppy? How can these questions help you find a good, reputable breeder and avoid the pitfalls of a scammer and a person who's only breeding for money? We're going to answer those questions so that it will help you to find a healthy puppy to bring into your home. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my episodes. Before you ever talk to a breeder, you need to do some research. What breed of dog do you want? Do you want a large dog, like an Irish Wolfhound, or a small dog, like a Chihuahua? Do you want a dog like a Border Collie that requires an exorbitant amount of exercise? What about grooming? Do you want a dog that requires grooming like a soft-coated wheat and terrier? Or do you want a dog that requires minimal grooming like a whippet? You have to decide all these things and have these answered before you ever speak to a breeder. What dog are you gonna bring into your home? When you've made the decision, then you're ready to contact the breeder. Because of the COVID, we can't do as much in person, so you can't go to a dog show. We can't watch the dogs in uh, the show ring or any of the other sports, but you can do a lot of research online to find a breed that fits into your home. All of those questions have to be answered and many more before you're ready to talk to the breeder. Once you know what breed you are interested in, then you need to contact national breed clubs and regional breed clubs to find out more information about the breed and hopefully to get a list of breeders that you can contact. Your next step is to send emails to the breeders that you've chosen. Tell them that you're interested in their breed and that you would like to set up an appointment with them. I like to see the breeder face to face when I'm talking to them, but with COVID, this makes it almost impossible, but you can Zoom or do a FaceTime or whatever it is that you do so that you can see the breeder as you're talking to them. When you talk to this breeder, they should be asking you a ton of questions. And this would be my first red flag. If the breeder doesn't wanna know if I live in a house or an apartment, do I have a yard, a fenced yard? Do I have kids? What are the ages of my kids? Do I have other pets? What's my work schedule? Will there be someone home during the day with the puppy? Have I had a dog before? The list goes on and on and on. And the breeder should be asking all those questions because if they don't care enough to ask those questions, then you know they don't care about your puppy, where your puppy goes. A good breeder wants to know where their puppies are going and likes to know that what type of home they're going into. Now it is your turn to ask the questions. And breeders, good breeders, love to talk about their dogs. I would ask, what are your goals in breeding? You wanna hear something like, for the betterment of the breed, to preserve the breed, to make the breed better. Something that tells you that this person cares about the breed of dogs. And once they care about the breed of dogs, there's more likely that they're gonna care about the mother, and they're gonna care about the puppies, and they're gonna care about where the puppies are placed. Encourage your breeder to talk. How did you get into the breed? So that they will be able to tell you a little about themselves. If you think this video has been helpful and you're enjoying the video, please press the like button. If you don't feel that passion and you get an answer like, oh, well, you know, we just need a little bit extra spending money or I thought I'd breed a litter so the kids could see puppies, then I would run away because there isn't a connection there between the breed, the health of the breed and your puppy. If you feel that passion and that love, then move on to your next question. Are you the breeder of this litter? And if the, breed, if the person hymns and haws and says, well, you know, maybe, you know, then forget it because you don't want to deal with a broker. You don't want to deal with someone who buys puppies and then sells them as their own. If the breeder says, of course, I'm the breeder of the litter. Does the mom live with you? Where does the dad live? 
you might find that the breeder says the mom lives with her or him, but the dad does not. An important question to ask the breeder, what health testing have you done on the mom and the dad? The breeder should be able to provide you with that health testing. This is from UC Davis for Italian Greyhounds. This is the, these are the UC Davis panel for Golden Retrievers. Different tests totally than the Italian Greyhound. Your breeder should be able to tell you what tests the mom has had and what tests the dad has had and ask the breeder to provide you written results. Don't have somebody say to you, oh yeah, my dog's healthy. No, look for those written results. Ask them where you can go online to see the results or ask for a printed results from your dog's test, your mo dog's mom's testing. Next question I would ask the breeder is, what are the drawbacks to owning your breed? When people used to ask me that when they were looking for a puppy, boy, I would tell them everything. One, Italian Greyhounds can break their leg. Two, Italian Greyhounds have horrible dental and you have to brush their teeth every day or every other day to keep those teeth healthy. Three, they get cold in the winter. You have to provide warmth, coats, boots to keep your dogs safe and healthy. Epilepsy, there are dogs with epilepsy in the breed. So you see, just that list might scare somebody off, but you need to know that about your breed before you buy a puppy. Your drawbacks to your breed are quite different from an Italian Greyhound, but you need to go in this with open eyes and know what are the problems with your breed. And you need a breeder who's gonna be honest to tell you those problems. And not just say to you, oh, there's no problems, all the dogs are healthy, don't worry about it. No, not the case. Now, when you start to feel, okay, this breeder cares about the breed, cares about the mom and dad, now we need to ask questions about the puppies. Where were the puppies born? Were they born in a barn? Were they born in the house? Were they born in the breeder's bedroom? How many times have the puppies been moved in the last five or six or seven weeks to different places in the house or in the yard? There's a rule of seven that says that puppies should be in seven different locations see def seven different types of people, kids, adults, should play with seven different toys of different types. Ask your breeder how your breeder has socialized their puppy. Here's a picture of a socialization puppy area. You see the little balls, you see the jimboree type of toys, the different surfaces for these puppies to play on. This is so very important that your puppy is socialized with kids, with people, with everyone before you even get your puppy. The rule of seven is to be before your puppy leaves the breeder. This is why many breeders aren't even breeding a litter at this time because they feel they can't do a proper amount of socialization because of COVID and they're waiting until it's a little better and they can take those puppies and they can invite the friends in that have kids so their puppies are even better socialized before you get your puppy. This is so vital so that you end up with a, low, a well socialized puppy and you can then continue on with the socialization. Ask the breeder if the puppy will have any vaccinations before you get your puppy. Will the puppy have any deworming? You need to know these things. Does the breeder have a contract so you know what your commitment is when you get the puppy? Can you call the breeder after you get the puppy if you have a question? You need to work with a breeder who cares about this puppy and is there to support you. Many good breeders, if they have the facilities, will say to you, when you go on vacation, please bring your puppy back to me. I'll take care of your puppy while you're on your trip. That's a person who doesn't stop their concern when your puppy walks out the door. They care about your puppy. Here's a really important one to ask a breeder. What is your policy if I can't keep my puppy? 
for some reason. A good, reputable breeder will say to you, bring it back. Many breeders will put in their contract, if you can't keep the puppy or the adult dog for any reason, you must contact me. You must return the puppy to me. Or if not returned to me, you must have my help to find a new home for the puppy. They want to make sure that their puppy is in the best home that they can find. Here's one that can send up a real red flag. When you say to the breeder, can I come to your home to pick up the puppy? And they say, oh no, I'll meet you at so-and-so partway, or um, I don't want you to drive that far. I'll just find a place to meet. Mm -mm. I want to see where that puppy's born. I want to see where that puppy lives. I want to know that the puppy has been raised in a clean place with people who care about their dogs. And the next question, what age can I get my puppy? If they say to you, oh, five, six, seven weeks, uh-uh. Minimum age, eight weeks. And a lot of breeders like to keep them till 10 or 11. Your puppy needs to be with their litter mates and with their mom until at least eight weeks of age. If you come this far and you say, yes, this is a good breeder, I like everything the person has said, then ask them for references. Talk to people that have one of their puppies so they can give you information about their dogs and I'm sure they will be willing to talk about the breeder as well. My hope is these questions will help you to find a sound healthy puppy that you can bring into your home and will live with you for many years. When you're thinking of bringing the puppy home, here is a video you might like. Buying supplies for my puppy, puppy essentials for the new puppy owner, and also puppy first night away from mom. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of the episodes. Leave me a comment about your search for a puppy. Thank you. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.